to my channel. Today I want to share this makeup look tutorial with you guys. I hope you guys are liking this look and if you are then keep watching. And I also want to mention that in this video I haven't showed you how I have applied my foundation but I have used the PAC uh, brush. This is the Oval Foundation brush by PAC and it's number 03 and I used the MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation in the shade NC40. And if you guys are understanding my smile then it's probably because you really get me by now. Guys, I know and in case you're new to my channel and if this is the first video you're watching, I just want you to know why I'm grinning while talking about the MAC Liquid Foundation. It's because of late I have been talking about my love for the Makeup Forever Ultra Liquid, Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. I have been saying on and on and on that I really like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation over the MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation. And the MAC Studio Fix used to be my first love when it came to liquid foundations. It was my absolute first liquid foundation uh, that I have ever used on my face before, you know, when I used to act on television, when I used to make you know any pictures whatever i've always used only the matte liquid foundation and people who used to use other foundations i would tell them that hey your foundation sucks you need to use matte and then i started saying that i don't like mac so much anymore i liked mac but not so much but today i had to go back to my first love guys i absolutely love the foundation once again and there are no complaints whatsoever i cannot compare this with the ultra hd at all both of them are different in their own ways and i absolutely love them so in case you would like to know how i applied the mac studio fix liquid foundation with my pack 03 oval foundation brush then please go ahead and watch the video i will insert the link in the description box down below for you and if you're interested in knowing how i got this look then keep watching guys right, i'm actually going to start with my crease and the transitionary shade right now i'm using this shade right here which is called dessert and i'm going to be using this a little bit of a dark chocolate brown shade with my Revlon crease eyeshadow brush. I'm also dusting off the excess because it's quite powdery and I'm going to be applying that into the crease area. And I'm also just slightly pulling this a bit upwards. Just the left over, I just like to fade it away because I don't like any harsh lines. So I'm just going to pull up a little bit like this. taking this mauve right here from over here and I'm going to be putting it onto my eyelid and by mistake I took the wrong brush uh, I wanted to take the Real Techniques fluffy eyeshadow brush I don't know why I took this one but it's all right it's doing the job and you guys I'm going to take this color into the crease as well and mix it with that brown that we just applied earlier that way they look like you know one transitionary color and not a lot of mix and match happening over there and I'm just lightly brushing it off upwards and once we are done with this I'm gonna move on to my brush number 248e by Pro Art and I'm gonna be using this shade right here which is called Orchid it's a very dark uh, not dark but it's an ashy grey shade over here and I'm going to be putting this just into the outer corner of my eye and that's it I've softly even cut the outer crease that mauve shade that we used earlier I'm just going to be putting that outside my lower lash line this shade right here and if you want to smoke out a bit more you can use a black color instead of a gray I just wanted this gray to match my outfit so I used this one I'm just going to quickly finish my other eye as well and we'll continue with the rest of the makeup so this is the shade from the Ulta Beauty that I'm taking and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with it I'm just going to take my blending brush this is I don't know by what brand this is, it's called Shade and Blend and I picked this up from the drugstore. I'm just going to blend this all out over here. 
So if there is any harshness of that grey shade, that will just be blended away nicely. And once we're done with that, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Eyebrow Tamer. You guys know that that is my favourite. I'm just going to be taming my brows a little bit with this thing. And once we're done with that, I'm just going to brush it once again with this Real Techniques Eyebrow Brush. using the Dina of London eyeliner. My blush is a bit lightened, I see that, and I will change that in a bit. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I went ahead and highlighted the same uh, as in I brightened the mauve purpley shade underneath my eye area once again. I just wanted that color to really pop and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the blush once again. I'm not liking that this is kind of just dying away, it's just killing my look and I'm just going to apply this once again just to brighten the pop of color as well. Although I don't want it to be really really like bright in shade, I'm just going to apply it because it's just dying on this side of my face, I don't know why. That's what I don't like about blushes which are not Too Faced blushes. Like the Too Faced blushes really are definitely 16 hour long lasting blushes. And now that we are done with this, I'm pretty much done with my entire makeup. Just one or two steps left in the making. I'm going to be using my new Miss Claire lip liner. This is in the shade uh, 14. Why don't you guys get names? Seriously. My neighbor is shouting, her lungs out. And I'm also filling in my lips with the same shade. Once we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and my Vivid Bake Bronzer by Makeup Revolution London. This is completely broken and it's falling down. Okay, so I'm just going to take this with my new fan brush which I picked up from Amazon. I think I may have already spoken about this in one of my videos. And I'm just going to apply this onto the high points of my cheeks. Just to warm up a bit more, but with a bit of sheen. See, I love it. I love it. I could eat this bronzer. So I've gone a little bit overboard, but I really wanted to kind of glam up this look. And I'm also gonna apply this leftover thing around the edges of my forehead. Just add a bit of more warmth, a bit of more shine, a bit of more glow. And even bronze up my shoulders a little bit, a little bit. Why not? Just to give a very, very suntan sun-kissed look and once we're done with this and there's so much bronzer on my makeup table right now oh my god and one final step before i move on to my mist and fix spray i'm going to apply the kajal pencil by revlon And you guys know my last favorite step, I'm going to be using the Make Forever Mist and Fix Spray. It's the O2 Mist and Fix Spray. And let's do this. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and that this was helpful to you. 
If you did like this look, you know what to do. Please give me a thumbs up right in the comments below and please do all of that because it really does mean a lot to me and I always reply to comments. It really, really does mean a lot to me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is at Chica Next Door. I have been posting one minute review videos, one minute makeup tutorials and you know, just pictures from here and there on my Instagram account. So do follow me there. Add me on Snapchat. It is at NEAA2106 if you haven't already. And have a good day. Stay beautiful. Spread a lot of happiness and a ton of kindness. Bye guys.